Here is a brief history of the pandemics that have rocked the world over the last century. From the Spanish flu, to coronavirus. 1918, just as World War I was coming to an end, the world was hit by a devastating outbreak of flu. It was caused by a virus thought to have come from birds, H1N1. It infected 500 million people, about a third of the world's population, and 50 million died in three waves of infection, including large numbers of healthy people aged 20 to 40. In 1957, a new flu strain emerged in East Asia. It was first detected in Singapore and Hong Kong. This H2N2 virus was soon found in coastal cities in the U.S. It killed more than 1 million people worldwide. And more than 10% of those who died were in the U.S. 1968, again a highly contagious new flu virus spread quickly across the globe. H3N2 was like the virus causing the 1957 pandemic. It mutated rapidly without a vaccine. And killed over 1 million people worldwide. Over 65 years old. The virus continues to circulate as a seasonal flu today. In the 1980s a new virus began to spread, HIV. It has affected over 75 million people. And has claimed 32 million lives. HIV infected 38 million people in 2018. Including nearly 2 million children. Fatality rate has dropped due to advance in treatment. Only 770,000 died from HIV in 2018. Though there's still no vaccine, scientists are optimistic that there will be one day. Today, COVID pandemic continue to spread around the world. With hundreds of thousands of cases. And an increasing death toll. Today there's no vaccine or cure. Total worldwide cases of COVID is 464 million. With deaths standing at 6 million. As at March 2022, the U.S. accounts for 79 million cases and 969,000 deaths. When will it end? Since the start of the pandemic, China is in the midst of the biggest outbreak of COVID-19. More than 50 million are banned from traveling without informing the police. What are you doing to help slow the spread of COVID-19?